So howdy everyone, welcome back to more of Clock Tower for the 1996 PlayStation 1 version. I'm the Black Shadow, about to delve into scenario 2 here with Jennifer. And uh, it's going to be an interesting um, video of this, because we're going to be basically doing this kind of twice. Uh, what I've gone is I've replayed the first chapter um, again off screen. Um, and we're going to take the path assuming that we've um, still set the statue to Rick's. To see kind of how that's going to proceed. And then we're going to see what happens if we'd send it to the library. And see how things proceed. So uh, regardless, it's the next day. And uh, yeah. Gots is pretty upset. There's a load of devs at the lab. He's not a happy bunny at all. And he doesn't want to believe what he's being told. Which is understandable, you know. You can already see tonight's headlines. Scissor Man is back. I know, right? Don't look good. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now and rest. Hmm. We posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Like the security guards? Hmm. Well, cheers, I guess. Jennifer. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. I'm glad someone does. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. Yeah. Do it for Val. All right, then. So, get a chance to do some more exploring. Um, so, I don't think it's going to matter too much. What order of things I do this is, I suppose. Um, uh, most likely. We ain't getting into there anytime soon. <laughs> no. We'll head back to the lab, I guess. Anything I miss, I can do with the, uh, the quick second run of uh, proceedings here. Game, thank you. Yeah, well, what do we do now? Yeah, I know, I was only just with you the whole time. Oh. I was just on the way out. Yeah. The one they found the scene of the clock tower. You can't find it, eh? How suspicious. But Barden's got it. And Barden's nowhere to be found, of course, as well. Called away on some police business. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. That was my mouse. My piece is being weird today. Pfft, mystery. Yep, yeah, sounds good. All right, then. The statue is there. I've got to get it. I want everything and everything relating to Scissor Man. All right, then. Ah, so that's the clue, is to go and speak to Nolan. Okay, then. Hmm. Who is Nolan? Oops. Well, I better run alone now. Tee hee hee. Oh, innocent me. Deary me, Jennifer. Deary, deary me. All right, then. I guess we'll have a bit more look around. So, yeah. There's no reason to go to the library, of course. So we won't do so. Well, let's uh, hope that they weren't. Hmm. They're not there. Okay, then. Well, I mean, it's probably fine. No, no, Gots, Gots don't appreciate that. So I guess we'll make a way to... Um... Make our way to Oslo newspaper then. We've not actually been here really much before, so kind of nice to visit. He's got someone we're kind of semi-welcome. 
Uh... No, of course not. So a hard time finding you. Please still think it was some nutcase, naturally. But of course. Yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he might be involved in the clock tower case. Murders, whatever. Oh, isn't that convenient? He used to be a butler for the Barrows. So this is interesting. So it looks like with Jennifer's scenario, it's Nolan that goes to Rick's, not God's. That's curious. Very curious. Yeah, Professor Barton might have given uh, the statue to him. Yes. So I'm assuming the way the game works is so wherever you actually sent the statue is probably where the next scenario goes. But you have a check here to not basically piss off the person that's offering to help you by getting it wrong, saying if the statue's actually there, I assume. I'm guessing that's how it works. So in this reality, um, the statue is at Rick, so we will say yes. You can count on me. Also, maybe if I send them there when the statue isn't there, maybe they just get killed or something. I don't know. I'm unsure. Here we are, Nolan Campbell at the residence instead. So this will be interesting to see what happens. <sighs> Blinds are covered this time. There's no dog. <laughs> yeah, well, probably. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant. <laughs> no, 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 do you know of a castle named Barrow's Castle? Yeah, just up the street. I don't believe um, it actually exists. I hope not. That'd be awkward. <clears throat> yep, so 80 years ago, many bad things occurred. I will also say, so I'm not too sure how comfortable I am with this whole Nolan Jennifer thing. Like, I don't think it's much of a thing, but it still feels a touch on the awkward side. Like, is that reasonable? Maybe, I'm unsure. Yep, the head of the household, the 13th dynasty. With generation, whatever. Apologies for that. It has been a long day. Do you know where this castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is. And off he goes. Nolan. I was given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. Oh, that's nice. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion. Ah. Yes, what wonderful times they were. Except for... Ah! Ooh. Ooh, that's bad times. He's dead, everyone. And I've just noticed my camera isn't moving. I'll need to fix this. Ouch.
Okay, we're back here. Everything is working and correct. I bet you continue to do weird shit, and yeah. Regret. Major regret. Ouch. Alright then, so it looks like we get to, uh, we have a bit of doing this with, obviously, with Nolan. Uh, we'll might probably need to proceed sort of in a similar way, I'm guessing, to how things go, but, uh, we'll start with the old umbrella trick here. Did you hear that? What was that weird speaking? I always feel sorry for Sister Man. He gets brutalized in these games. Just 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 beaten down. It's pretty brutal. Jeez. What a what a way to go, man. Brutal. Yeah. Whatever secrets he was gonna give us have uh, have been lost to the winds of time. So is it the same way out of here? Oh, bat Rick's dog is barking. Yeah. Okay, so it is the same kind of uh, exit strategy. Okay, that makes sense then. Now, I am curious to test something while we're here. Because we're about to reload and go down the correct the path I want to take here. Now, if we head on down the back, because we have to do in order to get out of here, at least uh, was the case with gods. Is you come down into the storage, you get like um, some powdered soap or whatever the hell it was. Powdered something. Oh, sorry. Here we are. And we have the powder soap. And that's wonderful. And we use this to get out of here and uh, evade catastrophe. Now, I am curious to know, can I actually use the powder soap to escape before I actually find any of the information around here in the Barrow's Mansion, uh, in the Barrow's Mansion, uh, in Rick's house here. So I haven't found, like, the statue. I haven't, like, gone and looked for, uh, the exit, or the, the back of the painting, anything like that. None of, none of the, anything of this at all. I know, right? Oh, maybe I can't. Come on. Is it really worth it, Nolan? Let's just get out of here, you know? It's it's too scary, buddy. Sigh. Alright then, so I'm curious to see if like I can always use like this pantry as like a hiding spot or if it's it looks like you can do that. That's very cool. I I honestly like I wouldn't expect him to pick this one out. Maybe he will, I don't know. But I mean like if you were a raving crazy, like, you know, evil being sort of thing, like I'd be defeated by this too. I'd be defeated by this too, everyone. I'm not gonna lie. Alright then, so this is the crazy mask stuff. Huh? Oh! Oh, I see! So we actually look at the mask, not the, um... Not the statue! Uh, not the Pitro in the on the top floor. That's interesting to note, you know? Right, eventually, there we go. Grab that. And we'll go and get us some. Lovely. I will assume that if you don't interact with that, that you will be killed by the uh, by the, the pole guy stuff, I would imagine. I'm sure. I take it that that's going to be enough um, for us to leave. I haven't grabbed the statue, by the way, because I'm just kind of testing bits and pieces while we're here. 
Yeah, so at this point, like, I have information, and I could soap the, uh, the dog here and get up, but I have no statue. Yeah. Is this different? And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue... All leads have come to a dead end. Oops. Scissorman. Is that an actual ending ending? I think it is. That's ending everyone. Well, there you go. Cool. All right, then. So I couldn't find anything else of any particular interest. Um, everything else seems to play out basically as it would do um, prior if you grabbed the statue and the rest of it. So uh, uh, with that little segue concluded, it's time for us to delve into the route we're actually going to take, uh, which is going to be um, heading off to the library, basically. And seeing how things proceed from there. So, uh, got a quick little bit to just retrack through here. Give me one second. All right, then. So, back to standard proceedings. Uh, now, maybe our way back to uh, Nolan's office here. Now, we're on the correct timeline. So, what we need to do is not send Nolan to Rex. Because the statue isn't there. And he probably won't be too pleased if we do. I don't know what will happen if I send him away, like, maybe he doesn't ever come with us to, like, England? I have no idea. I'm unsure. Some of you guys might know, but um, I'm already doing plenty of backwards and forwards for the sake of this anyways. I mean, that's one that uh, I don't think will be okay with. Yeah, Helen is looking for it now. No, no problem. We'll do now. All right, scenario to Edward. Huh. So we are playing as Helen. Interesting. Now, we don't really know very much about Edward at all. Maybe this is our chance to learn more about what the hell's going on. Maybe. So looking for Mr. Sullivan. Yeah, he is now in the head librarian's office. Super. Well, awesome. Should probably go and pay him a visit. Isn't Edward? What are you doing here? Wanted to get away, of course. Um, you haven't seen Kay about by any chance, have you? Yeah, is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Hmm. Hmm. Little sus, everyone. Little sus. Well, we've got all sorts of masses of books here and whatever the hell else, but, uh... I think the thing for us to do right now is go and meet with Sullivan and go from there. Oh man, this place is, looks looks pretty big. Well, we're going to have to find our way about here, I suppose. Uh, that is the reading room, which we'd need a key for. I assume his head office is probably upstairs, but... Uh... Oh no, it's here. Okay, awesome. Well, let's uh, head on in. Hello, Sullivan. Good to see you, sir. How are you? I know, right? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible! Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have heard. 
There is something you would like to research. Oh, well, thank you. Well, there's our key to the reading room. Neat. So you can use the reference materials as you please. That's very kind of you, sir. Yep. Nice. What? Well, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll do. Just where is it, sir? You couldn't like tell me at all or anything. That would be that'd be wonderful. Not gonna tell me? No? Okay, so be it. Oh lovely. Alright then. Let's head into the reading room then, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's still weird that that's what they do, that they turn around like that. It's so bizarre. Why would you design it like that? So strange. There are only, there are many valuable works here, only available to university personnel. We shall see. Of course, we don't have Rick to go by, so we've got to try and like work it out ourselves here. Let's go have a look. Nope, nothing interesting over there. Got a ladder here. Maybe we have some use for that, perhaps. Now we're good. This is hardly a good time. Oh, well, that, that is a shame. Okay, then. So, we're looking for... I don't know what... Maybe we can use the ladder, perhaps, and get to a different section. Yeah. Don't want to use it. Okay, then. Ah, here we go. There's another section down here. Books relating to England are up there. Now we use the step ladder. Lords of Northern England. That's the one. Oops. Really? Gosh darn it. All right, then. Just just borrow the book. I'm sure Sullivan will understand. There we go. We found our clue, everyone, and that's what matters. We still have to pick up the statue. This is true. So we should probably go back to Sullivan and ask him to direct us. It'd be much appreciated. bell of the giant clock are broken. Oh. Uh. The clock hasn't been working for ages. I wonder if someone has been messing with it. That just happened, everyone. It's official. Mr. Sullivan is an idiot. Great. Right, we're gonna need to uh, shake the tail here then, I guess. Somehow. Mm, there's a doorway over there, but... I don't think there's anything I can... Oh, hello. There's something over there. What we got? Ooh. It's a fight! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Honest to God, I actually do sympathize for freaking Scissor Man here. Gets it so brutal Alan? in this game. Well, I'm afraid so. We um we should probably go and give him a hand. I'll see if I can get down the back. Doesn't appear there is anything down there. No, there is not. All right, let's go back Alan? up then. Yep. 
we're coming, boy. Everything's going to be fine. It's Helen to the rescue. Edward. Edward. Huh? What the? Oi! Oh! Oh, it's a trap! Nope! Damn it! Check the tail again. Right, we've got no lamp this time. That is not going to work. We're going to figure something else here. Maybe we can just get the hell out of here. That'd be great. I'd take escape. Oh, I see. What the hell was that? Something just triggered. Well, it works. That's good. I don't want to leave, though. this leads some kind of uh, computer area here I almost hope this doesn't work oh <laughs> eh sure not the most epic attack like we'll see in this game, but I guess I can dig it. Alright, well, whatever. It's a victory. It's a victory. Alright, so before we um, see if we can possibly even leave out of here, I hope not. We shall see. I'm just going to put um, save seats down here in case I start doing things that uh, end us prematurely. No, there's a plant. It ain't useful. Well, damn. Let's see if we can get a better angle on the computer there. If we need to use it twice, it's just because of where it is, it's uh okay, it doesn't look like it. It's just because of where it is, it's like the it it and the plant's hitbox are like overlapping each other. Kinda dicey. Alright then, let's head on back in. Go get the statue. Wherever it might be. Yeah. Not gone well. She is, um, very dead. Didn't need that happening, though. Hmm. We are running out of, uh, running out of defenses here. We have to head on through. I've got no choice. We have to probably defend ourselves here. Yep. It's a dead end. Nope. Give him a good old boot. Definitely a trickier area, this. There's not as uh, much to kind of um, to know what to hide behind or whatever else. It certainly feels like less areas. Right, I think I see what's coming here. It's a. Yep. I'm gonna get him with the ladder. There we go. Nice. It's a good, t good hit, that. Very awesome. Alright then. So. Um, no, before we head into there, let's head back up to the top. We've been up there twice now. There's clearly something very important there that we need to discover. Clearly. Yeah. 
Bad, bad times. Oh, okay, so there's a hint up here. I guess that's cool. Not quite what I was looking for, but I mean, I guess we'll take it. Hmm, covered in rust. There's a way for us to um, loosen it up so that we can actually operate it. Maybe that will stop the, um, you know, what's going on here. As we learned from the first game, folks, time must adhere. That's how it works. Right. Let's look at Sullivan's office a bit more here. Now we've got the opportunity to look around a little. We should probably do so. Damn. Well, I tried. Makes sense. If there's a clue about here about where he's put the statue, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Let's look at his desk. He wrote some documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The center of these envelopes is Professor Barton. Mm. I don't know. Maybe there is. Oh, we got a key. The collection room key. Right, okay then. It would it would be feasible to suggest that that is uh, where we're going to find. Okay, and that's the collection room. Cool, okay then. But before we head in there, I suspect that's where the statue is. But we're going to quickly... Uh, I want to go back into the library area. Just to have a little look-see. It feels like there's something to be done in there, but I'm unsure. But just in case. We can suddenly look at everything in here, so I guess that's cool. There's many encyclopedias. Oh, come on. There's always time. Make the time. Yep. Guess who's. I don't know what we're moving to look to. Yeah, I know. I know. But we can still look at everything now that Edward's not here, apparently. Brutal. Are you a cute? Look, freaking Photoshop didn't exist for another 20 years. That's a highly, highly scrupulous claim you're making there, Helen. I think you should apologize. Nah, she's probably got a point. All right, then. Doesn't seem to be too much else in here. Just a different, different theme playing here for reasons I don't know. If there's one thing I do kind of wish this game did... Is I wish there was more back. It's a bit. It's just the same as Clock Tower for the 1995. I think like the game benefits from having just a little bit of extra ambience in these, uh, in like these sort of areas. I just think it just makes things a little bit better. Like in just having it more often. I just think it just helps with the game overflow. You know, especially nowadays when we're so used to it. It's kind of alien noise. So he's a collection where Sullivan keeps his the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places. Of which he is very proud. It is pitch dark inside. Okay, I mean we can probably turn it on. There we go, alright. Ourselves of a look around here, I suppose. Something weird over here. Oh! Um, Helen? Yeah, it's a trap. Wow, I didn't expect that. Hmm, 
I'm running out of places to, uh... Places to hide here, kids. Where else could there be? What else could there be? I legit don't know. Maybe something else in here, perhaps? Doesn't look it. Uh-oh. Right, we're gonna have to fend him off here. Nope. <gasps> For a supernatural being, like, not very impressive, but then. Right, so the only place I can think of to look is the one room we haven't really been in yet, and that's this aquarium room. There's something in here we can use to, like, defend ourselves. Ooh, we got a sword! Oh my god! Damn! Just nailed it with a freaking, like, just, just a stone sword of some kind. I guess that works. Sure, take it. It gives us the break we need. That's fine. So, I think we just want to, uh... Like, if I get ambushed here a second time, that'd be pretty funny. No, okay then. Might be a degree of randomness about when I sometimes get, um, like, ambushed or whatever else. I don't know. But there it is. Our stone statue. The demon idol is in our position. What we gotta do is find a way out. I mean, that shouldn't be too difficult, right? I do love the idea that, um, you know, all these weapons that we use are one use only. Like, wouldn't you keep the damn sword now that you've seen, um, like, how effective it is? Like, why would you ever put that away? It's kind of absurd. Right, let's escape this hellhole. No further business here. to find a different way out of here then and that does not fill me with happiness and joy hmm. that is a problem maybe now i can use the computer to like try and contact the outside and get some assistance apparently not helen's like i like your idea but it's dumb <laughs> Okay, shoot. Sure. Need to find a different. Exit. That was suspicious. Uh, we need to find something else, some other way to get out of here. Can't say I like that happening. That feels like a trap. Pretty much. Nothing in any of these desks. There's got to be something we're missing. A way to kind of work out how we're going to get out of here. Hmm. Get the lights turn on. That might help. <sighs> of course he has. Scumbag. Shake your heads, everyone. Just shake your heads. Edward, I thought you'd still be here. Oh, Edward's here. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Be a good boy. 
And don't worry, yeah. we'll make it. Okay, I guess. <laughs> if only you knew, my dear. If only you knew. That's all well and good. That still doesn't help us get out of here, though. Still got to work this out. Right. Okay, there is something else in that back room. Just feels kind of like it's, like, really big. And there's a lot of it. Oh! Oh, it's the police! Oh, thank goodness. Let me out of here, kids, please. Well, there's a ton of police. They can't seem to get in. Hmm. Damn. We can't, uh, we can't get out with the bar that way. We are going to have to fancy our own way out. That is a problem. All right, I want to have a look at this back room again. That's not what I wanted. Would you stop telling me that? It, all right, it don't work, you all right? We keep trying. It's just, it's not meant to be. Because that sign was really fucking loud. I stuck all the things? Must be something we can use. Nothing useful. Yeah. I don't know how to get out of here, everyone. I'm... I am deeply unsure how to escape. Oh, I can look at the back desk. Okay, there might be something in here, because we looked at Edward, not the desk. There's some forms and loan cards on the table. Oh, man. Hmm. What have we missed? What have we missed, everyone? We've missed something. And I don't know what. How exactly are we getting out of here anyway? That's the question. Like, where's our escape room? It's not like previous times where we've kind of like had an idea of how we're looking to get out and we've just got a kind of, um, you know, and it like kind of makes logical sense. This is like, I don't know. Now it's interactable. It's kind of annoying. There's definitely a vent. It's covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. Ah, okay. We just gotta get the screen off somehow. We need to find a uh, we need a tool to do so, and that the um screwdriver is definitely not going to get the job done. I can only assume there must be something somewhere. Now I want to go back to the freaking behind the reception. There's so many things to interact with. It, it's We've had this before, this game, where, like, there's items for you to find or things to do, but you can't actually do them until you've looked at them places. A bit like the, um, if you have the clock tower, uh, not the clock tower, the, uh, the copper book shelf. Like, even if you've got the copper book out and you're trying to put it into the slot, until you actually activate... The uh, or until you look at the scratch marks, Helen won't think to you know 
put the book in the slot, which is pretty obvious. She just won't do it, which is what happened in a couple of videos or so ago. So maybe now that we've done it, maybe now we can find something of use in here. I don't know. Okay, there's nothing particularly there. Let's try this one down the back. Forms, loan cards. <sighs> it's gotta be something. This was the useless one, wasn't it? If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I can't criticise the game. Because the alternative is your, is your protagonists are picking up items that they can't know they're going to need and end up using, which is the case more often than not. So, like... I kind of get it, but if you're going to do it this way around, you got to make it more obvious, you know, say that beforehand that there's like, uh, you know, um, you know, specified that the desk seems to have kind of um, a few engineering tools, like, you know, there's, you know, screwdriver, nuts and bolts, that sort of thing. So if you do look early, you're like, oh, that's interesting. And then you see the person, you're like, ah, oh, there we go. Don't just like have a generic description and then have to have that be the place you've got to look. It just... It don't really work, everyone. It, it doesn't really work for me. But alas. Sorry. It's... Maybe you could say that's a bit of a nitpick, but I think I'm kind of justified in that. There's just so many better ways to do Edward, it. Come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry. Run away from here. Okay, I will. Stay in those shorts, everyone. Okay. So now Edward's escaped. That's great. But now what do we do? <laughs> that doesn't help us escape here at all. I mean, the only thing I can think of logically... We'd either be upstairs to, like, the the wrench thing. We've not found anything to operate that. Or I guess we go back to the police and maybe they've, uh... They've finally found a way to get in. I'm not controlling the movement here, everyone. Good grief. Hey, God. Hey, Teach. What's going on? Teach. Hang in there. Oh, God. So, yeah, things definitely a little bit different from um, going from here to, um, to Rick's house. I'd say it's a little bit more puzzly. It definitely feels a bit more backwards and forwards. Um, but, you know, Rick's house is probably better. But that's just because Gots gets to punch Scissor Man straight in the face. And that is innately satisfying on a level that I cannot... Um, I can't hope to convey to you without you actually playing the game. So anyways, that's going to be all for the video and for this uh, session recording. Um, so I think all for watching. Um, and I guess next time uh, we're going to be preparing a what to head on over to England, uh, back to the Barrow Estate and uh, looking to put an end to Scissorman once and for all as Jennifer. So thanks for the company. I'll see you then.